Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black from No Export For You, and welcome to part 7 of my segmented blind let's play of Fulikan no Grasesta, trial version. Today we're exploring the Valley of Scattered Feed, or the Valley of Scattered Bait. We'll learn why it's called that in the next video, but for now, exploration and dying. Just a little tiny bit of dying, though. hardly anything at all, really. And so, heading from the container of slave swords, we headed out this exit without any guards. This is the Valley of Scattered Feed, huh? It's a bit dark. It's the opposite of dark compared to where we just were. So, looking around here, we take a deep breath and exhale. This is different. It's uh, different content from underground. The uh, air outside, it, you know, drawing it into your body feels good. But because this is a deep valley where the light of the sun doesn't reach and the craggy rocks on both sides, there's these vine looking things growing on the walls. Huh. Because of the darkness, I can't see that far. How far does this go on? It seems like this rift just continues onward. So here in this vicinity, there are magical... The magical stuff that runs up in the upper city can be heard low, a little low hum. And looking, there's a little, a little strand of magic light, magic power light, that you can faintly see lighting up the floor of the valley. What's that? It doesn't seem like somebody would normally be living there. It does, but it does seem like it's watching the floor of the valley. Maybe it's some kind of watcher's tower. And if we try to lose them, we'll be immediately found out. And the guards will just come flying out. Hmm. Well, for now, I should take care. Well, really, there's nobody other than me here. Other than, in all of my line of sight, the only thing that appears is these ridiculously harsh cliff faces. The number are few, but in the vicinity, I sense the presence of monsters. Trying to get through without a battle would be difficult. But is this it? Just a little nest of monsters. And it keeps us from escaping. I don't get that, but I don't really think that's how it works.
Hmm, the valley floor. How about I take a look and see if there isn't some way to climb out? So, he's really gonna check this out. The place nobody goes because it's obviously too dangerous. <laughs> Jadal's a genius! It seems like there aren't any monsters here. Although I sense their presence slightly, faintly. So, since I came to this city, my possessions have all been stripped. But, first of all, I should find something I can use as a weapon. Well, I have no intention of falling in here. Falling here. So, I should take care of this prison. Take care while proceeding. And if it gets dangerous, head on back. It seems to be some kind of updraft. Yeah, it doesn't seem like something I can use right now. If I do get my hands on some some means, let's come back again. Come on. That's a breeze ability that I don't have. It's a weapon. Huh? What's that shining? Let's see if it's something that I can't use in this exploration. No. Points that are shining with a green light are gathering points. So if you touch this place, you can collect some items. If some time passes, you can come by again and gather again. Also, if your gathering skill level is higher, then there's a possibility of getting rare items. The gathered items are... Hmm. Sometimes appear in other places. <laughs> so, I'll give it a try anyway of getting them. Ah. Kinte. I think that's uh, synthesis. Here, yeah, I'll go back. Oh, these items are unsynthesized, are in an unsynthesized state. So it's recommended to synthesize them. As the story progresses, we'll be able to do synthesis. And when you can, if you got the time, you should, you probably should. Oh, note, in the trial version, you won't get the ability to synthesize. Gee, thanks. So when you get unsynthesized items, let's make use of them in uh, sealing. <laughs> scrap them. Scrap metal. Okay, continuing through the valley floor. In the shadow of a rock. I find something. Now, oh. is this the corpse of a slave soul? Slave sword. That is probably somebody who was defeated by a monster. 
Yeah, just a skeleton now. The equipment he's wearing is obviously shoddy. So clearly he was a pretty low skilled, you know, low skilled, low experienced soldier around here. And so, just like me, he thought to explore the valley floor and escape the kingdom. Maybe. Hmm. But, looking carefully, there are also monster bones in amongst here. Human. And there's not just one human, either. So taking corpses and putting them in the shadow of a rock. That means people might pass this way frequently. But thinking about this simple. It's getting to that facility with the magic light. Maybe they were trying to prepare something. Okay. Nonetheless, in this pile of corpses, there's a certain set of white bones still gripping onto a rusted out big sword. Ah, good timing. I'm gonna take this sword. Even if it's rusted, it's not like I can't use it. So if I'm able to get my hands on a weapon, it's better than fighting barehand. I got a rusted sword. Seal item. Well, we've gotten a seal item. That's the same Fukan there, seal, as in Fukan no Grasesta, name of the game. And so it's going to explain what we can do with these. Okay, these sealed items can be improved by using materials. The items that the materials will need for any particular item depends on the item in question. So if you get items to use, you can charge up the item. Well, it's... I think it's explaining that you can set them aside to charge a given weapon so you don't accidentally use them on some other weapon. But they aren't actually consumed until all of the requirements are met. If it's something that you've got equipped, you can also take some other item of the same type and draw it in to increase the abilities. <sighs> Sounds like something that we can figure out just by uh, flummoxing around. It says that as these items get better, there's a limit. And you can also find occasionally equipped skills and your equipped skills will change. But if you take something of low quality and draw it into these items, they'll actually weaken.
perhaps if you draw in things of the same type with the same characteristics, it will react well. So let's uh, search for something that can yield good growth. Now, first things first, I don't think it's equipped. Hmm, okay. I found that uh, iron chunk back there. It'll add plus two to his physical attack. Uh, what I wanted to do was equip. Simple as that. All right, fighter's clothes. Oops. This isn't a sealed item, so... Wait, it says sealed in the corner, but apparently I can't improve it with the items I have. Anyway, I just wanted for the three defense. Holy cow. That's not bad for this point in the game, right? God, these guys are weak. Whoops. Well, I don't want to deal with too many of these jerks. After all, I have to go down and heal myself in the beds when I get hurt too much. Oh, that's interesting. I thought before looking at this that it would go the white line, so it would go right here. But it's actually looking at this this tiny series of islands below it, icons below it. Looking at this, it would go right here before it jut out. So, careful with that interface. Mm, so what's this do? <laughs> it knocks the hell out of it. If it is. No, more of them. Well, well. Samara Orc. Samara Orc. Oh, whatever. Uh, black jelly. Maybe? No. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> good news. Yep, apparently he'll get 4 or 5 HP every level. And the fastest growing of his other stats will be his attack. Huh? Valueless steel hammer. Well, I can sell it for something, right? Yeah, it says it's good for 50.
And if I wanted to, I could drop it with this, I think. No. Oops. Oh, look. Another. Another dam. What's it called? Tutorial. Goodbye. Ah. Look at this place. Look at this map. It reminds me of uh, Himegari. Ah, good times, good times. But what is with that light? Penetrates into the ground some 20 floors. Hm, anyway. Let's continue our exploration. So I get an advantage there. Call up the arrow. Well, I have one more attack now, so I can almost one hit these guys. Zizuxu! Gotta hate him, <laughs> six. Oh. That was one of those random events, and for once it actually hit me. Zizuxu! Zizuxu! No, I'm gonna stop this so I can use this free healing item. Ten. No better than nothing. See, so. So, Um, I wouldn't want to die this early, but this could be troublesome. Now I stocked another one of these so I can do a big one here, which is convenient, and power back. Sweet. Oh, that's one of the healing items. Now it won't com it won't completely fill my hmm. This something that improves your physical attack. It's a material type, so... There it is. Look at that. It'll increase the attack by one. All by itself. Hmm. Okay, select and strengthen. Um, right? Yeah. There it is, it shows seven now. Well, the bridge is falling. Maybe it was due to the monsters, or... Well, in any case. Or perhaps someone trying to escape fell in. In any case, I can't continue this way. Let's look for some other way. Okay, this is the kind of thing he 
has busted up in the past, but it looks more uh, big than the other stuff, so with his power now, it looks unreasonable to try and break it. If I do get enough power, I should come again. That means, yep, the power down there on the right says you need two instead of one. Uh, valueless ring. Oh, I've already... This is where it came from. Jeez. This is, uh, pretty linear. Ah, uh, of course. Fighting technique, feather. Hmm? Random battles, huh? Uh, I should get going, get to myself healed. Although now I have enough attack power to probably take these things in one hit. Okay, this takes... Hmm. Oh, whatever. Okay, I'm going to head on back. Got it. Okay, let me head back and get healed. Jeez. Hmm. Okay. I've got fewer Those. skill points, and these take one each time. It doesn't really show where your skill points are. I'll figure it out later. Okay, um... Just great. Well, I was hoping to get out without having to use that, but yeah. Look at that one hit. Maybe I should have eat, eaten the mice, but you know, it's those poor mice. Well, now that I'm full on life, I don't really have any need to go back. Although my skill points have dwindled. It'd be nice to know how our skill points are recorded. You'd think it would be kind of obvious somewhere. Um. <laughs> Okay. These guys occasionally have a different amount of armor, I guess. This is common in these games.
doce. Now oh, here we are. These guys are level five, so I think the way that they generate these is they have a level one, and then they level them up four times randomly every time they're generated. So just like leveling up our characters, their stats will be a little variant depending on how good their level ups are. That's my theory, anyway. Oops, I bumped the mic. That's yeah, usually pretty noisy when people bump the mic. Okay, one consideration is to not go in the random zones and just fight these guys for a little while. Hmm. Explain what I did in a minute. Okay. What I did was I pressed the right analog stick right there which says search for enemies. So if you're in an appropriate zone, you can just say search for enemies and you'll fight an enemy. It looks like it doesn't change the appearing enemies. So it's just free random encounters anytime you like. I'm gonna kill you bitches, you know that? Great. <laughs> Yeah, healing. Okay. Say, kill it this time. Okay. So by stocking an item, you get to later use kind of a double use of the item itself. Uh, which is sometimes useful, but it, it doesn't usually do double the damage. But it usually has a lot better range. Hey, I got another healing potion. That's good. I'm going to test out the sleeping facilities then. Apparently this will advance uh, the time by one day. Hmm, I don't see where they actually keep track of the day. Well, anyway, it probably doesn't have any gameplay meaning. Well, it restores these. Ah. I wanted to sneak by. 
Now I probably should have fought for a level up before before Azure. I headed out here. Tight on him. No, for Christ's sake. <laughs> anyway, I should have gone for that level up. <laughs> Then I could have gotten healed and that's probably no, well, let's see what my stats are. Four more life and one more defense. No. Accuracy stuff. You know what? I'm gonna use that. Ah, uh, see? It adds one to my accuracy. Hey, I'll buy that. Wait a minute. Oops. Ah, uh, you see the accuracy over in the upper right of that pop-up? It's, I presume, it was minus ten before, and now it's only minus nine. Which is good. Every little bit counts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like the bridge here is collapsed as well. It seems like not being able to get out is the truth. But with at this level of destruction, I think I can still get by. I can continue. Okay, what's the condition for what? I'm sneaky. Watch me sneak. Now, I wonder how you, we would... I bet if I... Yeah. It says displayed on a stone placard. Beat a mythical... It's written a... Giant, powerful, mythical beast. Uh, clearly, we have to beat something that's ridiculously strong in order to get our Mao, uh, Mao Seki, Mao Stone. We still don't know what the. Oops. Ha! Ah, I got sucked. Oh, oh, man. That hurt. But I'll be okay. Tight on him. Watch that. That accuracy payoff. Or not. See if I care. Uh, these items are so weak. Oh, also, they don't hit very well. I don't like that. Well, that's good. Ah, geez, more. See, look so. Um. All right, I'll take this. Gah. What's up with the crack? Crappy accuracy all of a sudden. Okay, maybe I'm dead. No? No, I'm going to get a healing. It's not a big healing, but it's a healing. And I'll survive a hit or two. Okay, maybe I'm dead. I'm dead. I screwed that up pretty good.
Okay, I can uh, recover this. Probably. See, we get automatic saves. How nice of them. So I have one right here. Hmm. Maybe this was right before I left the last time. Well, that was level one. Well, level three, I mean. It doesn't show our experience, but I was right at a level up. Huh. Okay. Let's take a look. Oh. It didn't restock really that um, gather point, so... I guess there are randoms here. Alright, hold the skip button in order to make this go faster. Hit more often, will you? I get the same level up as before. I wonder if that's set, but more importantly, let's get healed. And let's not do dumbass things like die. Ah, press the button. Valueless ring again. Hmm, curious. Guess what? You're all stupid and ugly. Yeah. Sheesh. Oh, how nice. Well, crap. Let's try to kill this guy before he wipes me. Well, it doesn't much matter. Feel like doing this time? Shizuksu. So close. No. Ha. No. Okay, let's see if I can't figure out something that'll keep me from having to hold down the X button when I want to skip fast. Okay, turn off battle animations, hit effects. Skill activation of X. Yeah, let's leave that last one in. Yeah, 
accuracy stuff again. What's this crap? Shizuksu. Tired of it. Okay, enough of this dodging ball crap. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Ouch. Seriously. Hmm. Okay, mice. Yummy. Oh yeah, I read this already. I read this already too, but just to make sure. <laughs> of course. If you want to avoid it, you have to run away quickly. Come up the arrow. How many more do I have? Yeah, I've got a few. Hmm. Oh, more accuracy powder. Now the healing water. Was that two? I think it was. Anyway, let's improve. Yep, it still gives me two. Gives me a full one, I mean. Hmm. Yeah, nothing here. Well, looks like somebody had a party. Oh. Simple and straightforward, right? Well, it's too early in the game for complex puzzle dungeons, even if this were the type of game that lent itself to that type of gameplay. Seriously, the game player is looking to be very simple and straightforward. Enter dungeon, traverse maze, vice boss. Speaking of bosses, what kind of creature might cause a cutscene amongst a scattering horde of corpses? <laughs> 